Hello. Today I want to talk to you about um, an interesting scenario in a dream that a lot of people deal with. Um, that would be someone trying to kiss you in your dream that you're not married to or in a relationship with or have an inclination to be. Okay? So, a couple of things for you to know. If someone is trying to kiss you in a dream, okay, we're talking about opposite sex here. I'll get to the other, but but for opposite sex, if someone is trying to kiss you in the dream and you have a strange feeling about it, a sort of what I would call the ick, you have a, a like a, ah, uh, you know, a, a, a very strong response like, no, that is probably going to represent a covenant that you know not to come into and that you do not desire to come into. If, on the other hand, someone tries to kiss you or kisses you and you feel inclined to embrace them, let's say, to embrace the kiss, okay, and it feels, let's say, innocent, loving, innocent, it's okay, you're okay with it, that's typically going to represent either Jesus or someone that you're coming into a healthy, right, or, or a righteous, a pure relationship with. Now, that can be uh, with a, the person, a person of, an, of the opposite sex that is not necessarily someone you are in relationship with, as in not your mate, or your fiance, uh, spouse, whatever, okay? Now, if a person of the other, of the same sex is trying to kiss you, it probably isn't necessarily about confusion about your identity or your orientation, your sexual orientation, as much as it is about a friend or someone who is um, close to you that is trying to make a covenant, okay? So um, let's talk about some more edgy things. If you, say, um, find yourself kissing your best friend in a dream and it feels very comfortable, very warm, um, and innocent. I'm just going to keep using that word. If it feels clean, pure, innocent, then it is a righteous covenant. If it has any sort of ick on it, any sort of, you know, where your spirit is going, ah, because you don't want to be connected to this person, then that's probably not a covenant that God wants you in or a relationship that God wants you in. So you need to be very aware of that. Now, there are situations too where because of your mindset, you know, because of your mindset, you uh, you might have a resistance or a reticence, but in the dream, in your spirit, it actually had a sweet or an innocent feel. An example. One time I, in a dream, I was riding uh, in the back of a limousine, okay? And I'm riding with this very, very alluring, handsome man. Um, wow, he was so handsome and so charming, right? And he leans into me. I lean into him, and I'm feeling very good about this, right? And he goes to kiss me, and when he... When he kisses me, he kisses me with tongue, right? And it's a it's a, a pointed tongue, and I'm just like, ah! And I stop the whole thing. And when I woke up, I asked the Lord, Lord, what is it that I'm in covenant with that is not correct? And He said to me, Who do you know that has a tongue? like a two-edged sword. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was making out with Jesus, right? But because I had this strange mindset about what was going on, I didn't get it. Happens all the time. 
So if you have any questions about getting kissed in your dream, making out, getting intimate, yes, at some point we'll even talk about sex, then feel free to uh, let me know and I will answer any question that I can for you. This is about who's kissing you in your dream. All right. Have a good one and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. I'm Melody Pash.